Casey Viers on Random Torchwood fans and those of you following the nerd. Now, continuing on from last week where I talked about Captain Jack Harkness, this week I'm now talking about the Torchwood Gwen Cooper figure and here she is in her packaging which looks just terrible. I mean, if you want to hear just how awful I think this packaging is, watch the uh, Jack Harkness review because I'm not going into that again, it's just terrible. Torchwood logo up there, uh, five inch posable figure written there, uh, five years and up, that nice little photo of Gwen down here and uh, Gwen written there. And pretty much the only saving grace of this packaging is of course the fact that you can see the figure and it really does show it off and looks really great. Now around the back of the packaging, same as before, just uh, the first wave available now with uh, Captain Jack, Gwen, the Cyberwoman and the Weevil and then the Series 2 range coming soon. So that's pretty much all I can really talk about with this packaging, so now let's open it up and take a look at the figure itself. Okay, and here she is. Now, as you can see immediately, the detail is absolutely excellent. I mean, taking a look at the face sculpt there, as you can see, really, really does look like Gwen. It looks really, really great there. Uh, the likeness to Eve Miles is absolutely striking. The hair detailed incredibly well there, too, as you can see around the back. Really does look excellent. The leather jacket is absolutely perfect. You can see all the sort of creases in it. And uh, it reflects really well. Really does look like leather. Looks absolutely wonderful there. You can see even the lines for the stitching there. Looks really great. Even a little zip here down the front. Looks absolutely excellent too. Uh, same again for the trousers here. Or uh, the pants if you're American. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as you can see there, all sort of rumpled and creased there, looks really excellent, even down to her boots there as well. Uh, even her hands, everything really is just detailed absolutely excellently on this figure, and that uh, really does look really, really great. However, when it comes to articulation, this is where the figure really starts to lose some points. Because as you can see here, the head has no articulation whatsoever, but then again, it does allow for this really great head sculpt and uh, hair sculpt, so uh, you can kind of be forgiven for that. Also, she doesn't have that horrible sort of line across her neck like uh, most figures does, so... Uh, you know, I'm willing to forego the fact it has no neck movement. Uh, the arm here can spin 360 at the shoulder. Uh, there is 90 degree movement here at the uh, elbow and her hand does rotate the full 360 degrees there. Uh, no bicep and tricep movement and uh, that's really kind of annoying. Uh, she does have 360 degree movement here at the waist which is kind of cool. Um, her legs can come forward and back but they're hindered a little bit. Uh, the knee here can bend out 90 degrees and uh, back down again and there is no swiveling movement here anywhere on her leg be it uh, at the top of her leg uh, or down at her ankle here or anywhere so uh, that's pretty much it for, um, for articulation which is really kind of a letdown as far as I'm concerned. As far as our accessories go, well, just like Jack, Gwen does come with her little handgun here. As you can see, this is a more modernized handgun, and uh, the detail on it is pretty damn cool. But uh, at the same time, it's not really sort of painted or anything like that, so that's kind of a letdown. But uh, as I said, the mold for it really does look excellent, which is just so cool. And again, just like Jack, due to her hand sculpt, she can hold the gun really well. And it doesn't look out of place there, as you can see, which is just looks really, really great. However, a downside, again, just like Jack, is the unfortunate fact that uh, because of her limited posability, you can't really have her sort of posing or holding the gun too well. Personally, I just like to have her uh, gun just down by her side like that. It kind of looks more cooler. And Gwen also comes with her removable Torchwood base here, which, as you can see, just looks really, really wonderful. And I really, really do like this little idea that they've uh, included these uh, with the figures. And uh, it's detailed incredibly well. As you can see the little Torchwood logo there, which is actually imprinted into the mould, which really, really does look excellent. And uh, as you can see, two little pegs here and uh, two little holes in Gwen's feet. So you just basically clip her onto this. And there she is. Now, ready to go on display. And I think that is such a good idea because, like I said before, a lot of my figures do fall off the shelves quite frequently. But except for my Torchwood figures, because of this really cool base that uh, allows them to stand. I mean, there could be an earthquake and uh, this thing wouldn't fall over, which is absolutely excellent. So, all in all, what do I think of this figure? 
Well, I think it's pretty fair, it's safe to say. Uh, I mean, I love the detail. I think it's absolutely wonderful. The little base is so cool. The little gun as well, that's excellent. Uh, the downside definitely is the articulation. But then again, that's because these are kind of more aimed at collectors and not aimed at kids. So uh, I think when they brought these out, they kind of expected them to be put on display on somebody's shelf as opposed to be played with on the living room carpet. But then again, these figures were released before The Stolen Earth and Journey's End. So... Uh, after those episodes of Doctor Who art, I'm sure kids were out screaming looking for a Yanto, looking for a Jack, looking for a Gwen. So, um, but, you know, on the whole, I think these are definitely collector's items, hence the base, hence the fact that they uh, don't really have a lot of articulation. But, you know, kids can't play with them too. It's just the fact that there's limited articulation going on there. Uh, the box, as you've heard me say a million times before, is horrible. It looks absolutely awful. But um, I definitely do believe this figure looks better out of the box than in. So uh, with that, I'm going to stop ranting now. So uh, I'll sign off by saying thanks very much for watching this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's countless more reviews online at youtube.com forward slash vote section 07. Uh, thanks very much for watching and keep following the nerd. Bye bye.